Welcome back to Champ Week. The South Alabama Jaguars are here to play as we bring you the Sun Belt Women's Basketball Championship from New Orleans Lakefront Arena. Today it's the seventh seeded Jaguars as they take on the two seed UT Arlington Mavericks. Troy yesterday, and that almost cost them the game. Lauren Billy, she can knock down the shots. For pressure applied immediately by the Mavericks. Kynes tries to answer and does just that. Of the Jaguars. Sykes down to Lewis. Lots of traffic down there, but how about that smooth spin move to the left hand. And then she did the work on the offensive end to get open. Eight points in the paint for Lewis at that time. Opportunity now for the Mavericks. Sierra Johnson needs to convert here, and she does just that. And it was intercepted. Good hands by Carter. And another turnover by UTA as Shaforia oh. Kynes. Uh, she is no fear in that kid. Going up against the taller defender. Patient offensively. Low. The runner came up short. Not sure it hit the rim. So Jones is going to fire away and hit. Was a former point guard explaining the good ball handling skills and a great look that time to Chastain inside. Farrell inside. Milton off the glass and in. We're tied at 46. And this is. Been playing some great defense here in this fourth quarter. From the corner. The shot's good, Savannah Jones. Games, but Savannah Jones has not. She's fresh. All three pointers today from Savannah as now Shaforia Kynes attacks. Gets it back and puts it in. The Jaguars closing in on a berth in the championship game. What a flurry. And the run continues here in New Orleans for Coach Fowler and the Jags. That's right, guys. First of all, Coach, congratulations. Savannah Jones, let's talk about her. You said at halftime she was a little rusty. I have to respectfully disagree with you there. <laughs> she shot extremely well today from all parts of the floor. What do you want to say about her and what hey, she was able to contribute? Hey, hey, she served our suspension. Um, we're just happy to have her back, be a part of our team. That's part of our program. We don't leave anybody behind. And uh, just so excited for her to be a part of this. You said coming into this game that UTA, they were a complete team, and you knew that they would come back and give you a run for your money like they did there in the end, but your team responded. Is that something you all really coach? Yeah, you know, we just keep talking about next play. It's the next play. We've got to just move on from one to the next, and I think we did a great job responding. They went to the 1-3-1, one, and they gave us troubles. Once we kind of made some adjustments, our kids responded. What's the biggest thing that you're going to tell your team after this game, knowing that there's a championship on the line now? Yeah, hey, it's something we had set before at the beginning of the year. Hey, we're 40 minutes away from it. We're playing a great Little Rock team. It's going to be a difficult challenge, but I think our kids are up to it. Coach, congratulations and good luck. Thank you.